Ben Traham and Nick Monica of Archbishop Rommel. First and foremost, Nick, congratulations. To get this far means your team has accomplished a lot and you've overcome a lot this season. Yeah, it's it's been a great run. Um, Got to give a lot of credit to the kids and, and our coaching staff um, for just overcoming a lot and dealing with so many different obstacles. And, um, you know, I think every, every year every team has to deal with some things and especially injuries. But, um, uh, you know, it's seems to be a little bit more difficult this year than, than most, some of the, the more trying times. But uh, guys stuck with it, and, you know, we took it uh, one day at a time. And every Sunday was a, a different challenge for us. But, um, you know, to get here is, is pretty special. You want to be playing your best at the right time? That might be the case right now. Your defense has played very well in the playoffs. Your offense played very well last week. And you're going to need all of those things moving forward. Yeah, no doubt. Um, I think since we really since the Scotlandville game week five, I feel like we've been pretty solid on defense. We've had some really, really good performances. We've had some um, just some good performances, but I, I feel like we've been pretty good uh, on that side of the ball. Um, I think special teams, we've gotten better throughout the season. So uh, those two things I think you need in the playoffs a lot and, you know, and then you just get enough offense to, to, um, to play complimentary football, and we've done that. And then last week we had an explosion by our offensive uh, unit. So, um, yeah, you know, hopefully we can keep going. The, the kids are excited, obviously, about the opportunity. And, um, you know, something we talked about in August and we felt like was achievable. But then when you look in September and some of the things that happened, um, just there was some doubt that set in. So, again, just kudos to them for, for keep going and, and getting to this point. You've had some really good running backs here. and. Jarrell Johnson's the all-time leader in this program's history, and you know Keith Fulton was really good, and even Tucker before he got hurt. I could name a few others, but Jaden Martin's been terrific. He, I, every time I see him, I'm even more impressed. His vision, his cutting ability, his pad level, he runs through tackles, and he's fast enough. He's a really good player. Yeah, and um, he's our first thousand yard back in 10 years here, uh, which says something, because we've had some good running backs. And um, you know, to tell you that the majority of the year we've either been really beat up on the offensive line or been shuffling guys on the offensive line. So again, the rush for 13, 1400 yards uh, behind that, it, he's done a lot of it on his, on his own. And um, you know, he's, we've had some pieces that have been out and um, just trying to find the right combination. And, you know, hopefully it all clicks and comes together, you know, for another week or two. And um, you know, it's he's he's been a really good player for us for three years now. Very familiar opponent, Catholic High. You played him last year. You, know, you played him a bunch of times, 2020, 2019, 2018. You've seen him so many times. Uh, it is a different coach, but it's the same bunch, and it's a similar look. They're just a talented football team and a team that's accustomed to winning. Yeah, a lot of similarities to the last uh, five times we played him. So this makes five times in six years that we played him in the postseason. And, um you know, a lot of things are the same. Um, really good football team with some great players mixed in. And, um, you know, it's going to be a good challenge. There's, uh, this, their coach was um, an assistant for Gabe, and uh, the D.C. was the D.C. for Gabe. So, again, there's a lot of familiarity with it, and they probably feel the same way. Um, so, you know, it's just going to come down to whoever plays the best that night, and, you know, hopefully our kids are, are prepared and ready to go. Yeah, I mean, not a whole lot of people expected you to be here, but these kids probably did, and you probably did. Yeah, you know, as I mentioned, in August during camp, you know, everything looked good. Um, kids were moving around some energy. We had good leadership, and um, all the right things were being said, but their, the way they approached it was different. And um, so, so we were really positive going into the season, and then, you know, things happened. Um, you know, most of them before the season even started, and it again, it's – We've kind of had to play, um, you know, doctor uh, with the kids a lot with as far as just keeping their heads right and their psyche good and keeping them positive because, you know, they're watching leaders and captains and three-year starters get hurt and out for the season and um, doubt starts to set in. And it's hard to motivate and, and keep them locked in on, on you know, the, the little details that are important. And um, I think once they refocused, and realize that they could still get things done without those guys and move forward. I, you know, I think um, it allowed us to get back to this point. You wanted Yeoman Stadium in 2019 against Catholic, and 
but you haven't been at the Dome to a championship game since 15 and last one one of there in 13. How special would it be to, to get to the Dome with this football team? Yeah, it, it would be incredible. And, you know, as we're the story right now that we're telling the kids is that your path right now and your story that you would be able to tell would be different than any other team in, in school history. And, um, you know, this is a different route, but um, the end goal could still be the same, and, and that's what we're shooting for. Nick, thank you. Best of luck to you. Thank you, Ken.